اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وسلۃ وسلام علی خاتم الانبیاء دا منتھ آف فیسٹنگ از اسینشلی ا منتھ فار سیلیبریٹنگ دا قرآن اینڈ دا قرآن پرووائڈ دا بیسز فار یونٹی آف مسلم امہ ان دا بک اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ٹاکس اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ ریفرس ٹو دس یونٹی آف مسلم امہ ان فالوئنگ ورڈس ہولڈ فیسٹ ٹوگیدر to the cable of Allah and be not divided. Remember the blessing of Allah, best word upon you. You were once enemies, then he brought your hearts together so that through his blessing you become brothers. This is Ali Imran, ayah number 103. This etisam billah, this uh, cementing together with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what is done in this month. The whole month from beginning till end is a matter of how we celebrate the Qur'an, how we listen to it, how we understand it, how we apply it. In this short ayah, I just referred, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Muslims are a unique ummah. They are not a group of people who have same blood group, same ethnicity, same language, same color. They are a people who believe in one and same Allah, and one and same book, and one and same prophet. That's why, whether we are in North America, or in South Africa, wherever we may be, we find Muslim community having one and same experience of Ramadan throughout the month. Their heartbeat, their feelings, imagination, their actions, all synchronized together. All of them throughout this month are busy in finding out how they can obey Allah more and more, how they can please Him more and more, and how they can come out with success in their efforts to become a very peaceful, productive, proactive human being. Therefore, the month of Ramadan brings a new dimension, a rejuvenation of faith. It brings a, a unity which is unique. This unity is not because of political affiliation, but because of faith which brings them, makes them into a global community. The Quran in other places also refers to this aspect and tells us that Muslims are an ummah, an ummah which has an enormous responsibility, an ethical responsibility of spreading what is right and eliminating what is wrong. Amar bil maruf nayran munkar. The month of fasting is a month in which this aspect is experienced and applied. When a person is fasting, he or she tries his or her best in behaving in a polite manner, understanding the situation, trying to suppress one's own ego, sacrificing for others, helping others, and particularly coming up with a kind of behavior that becomes ultimately a habit. For one whole month, if we welcome our friend with a smile, with whole, one, one whole month, if we offer them whatever we have in our home and welcome them, if for one whole month we try to visit our neighbors, and interact with them, it becomes a habit. Therefore, unity of Muslim Ummah is experienced in this month in its abundance. The Quran in elsewhere tells us that the very justification of being Ummah Muslimah is that Muslims individually and collectively have an obligation to ensure that society is moving in correct direction. Their society is thinking positively, that people are not developing a negative approach or they are not trying to be uh, uh, persons who, who don't see any future, any hope. Ramadan provides them with this aspect that they should have hope, confidence, positive thinking and try to come up with a behavior which is good for society. We find in this month, even those 
who use foul language take care of their tongue. We find those who are in business and quite often they may not maintain a quality, but in Ramadan they try to improve their behavior and deliver goods with better quality to their customers. It's also a month in which we find that Muslims all over the world exchange greetings. They try to find out how are their brothers in farther parts of the world. And consequently, we find that quite often uh, people send gifts and help those communities where they have any problems. Ultimately, the unity is based essentially on their acceptance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their creator and the book as final judge. This book, Al-Quran Al-Kareem, provides them with guidance in all walks of life. And in this month of Ramadan, when they are studying the Quran day, every, every, every night, they understand the, the message in a more clear way and they are in a better position to apply in their every, in the everyday life. When they look into the Quran, they are in a better position to understand the message and apply it in their everyday life. This link with the Quran which this month provides is a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It shows his kindness and love for humanity that having sent, sent his book, he is also very much keen that his servants should go over it and ultimately by linking themselves with the Quran become more close to their creator and get rid of all those weaknesses which may make them a people who go astray. Therefore, link with the Quran established in this month is extremely valuable and uh, uh, worth celebrating. This month of Ramadan also brings a second dimension and that is how the Prophet peace be upon him lived this month while uh, trying to interact with the community and trying to disseminate Islamic message. From morning till night, the Prophet peace be upon him was busy in solving issues, but with the wisdom Allah had given him, wisdom of prophethood, wisdom which was able to resolve difficult issues and, and, and problems. This month reminds us of the uh, character that was built by the Prophet, peace be upon him, of his companions. They all learned from him how to be polite and humble. They learned from him how to be kind to others. They learned from him how they are going to behave in situations of crisis. This month of Ramadan provides that strength to us and therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it an obligation for all of us to welcome it, to live it in the most appropriate manner. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us opportunity to read more from the Quran and learn from the perfect sunnah in observing this month in most perfect manner.